Tonight, Port St. Lucie families are sleeping easier being told that this brush fire is fully contained. It has been a two day fight literally along Beckard Road. News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts is there live tonight with what's being done through this evening to make sure there are no flare ups. Megan. Florida forest crews cleared out of this area a little earlier this evening, leaving the task of monitoring the conditions out here to St. Lucie County fire crews. They've been stopping by periodically, driving down this containment line behind me to go further into the wooded area and make sure there is nothing back there that could potentially reignite overnight. Florida power crews also just leaving the area about an hour ago after repairing some of the damage left behind by the fire. A two day firefight ending Thursday night when Florida forestry crews finally got this fire 100% contained, but the mess left behind begins another challenge. FPL crews working into the night repairing damaged power lines and wooden poles, but Florida forestry crews can finally back down with a lower fire risk at night. Just for safety reasons, we don't really do too much because our equipment could easily get stuck. Um, we might get uh, hurt or damaged. Um, there might be something that we don't see a hazard for some reason. For two days, the dry conditions, low humidity and wind fueled the 200 acre fire and smoke consumed parts of St. Lucie, Martin and even northern Palm Beach counties. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Melissa Eunice with the Florida Forestry Service shows us what they'll continue to keep an eye on for the next few days. Melaleuca trees in particular, which she says spread fires quickly. What happens is it catches on fire and then because it's a little more substantial, it'll float with the wind, especially with the high winds, catch on fire. It'll, it could easily cross Becker mm -hmm. Road. Um, and then catch the next section of woods on fire. Now urging homeowners to do their own part to protect their homes and properties as a high fire risk continues. Get rid of the dead stuff. And Florida forest crews will be back out here in the morning to begin mopping up. Reporting live, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.